Okay. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome again sa subject natin, Math 123A, Engineering Data Analysis. And for, the, for today, we will be continuing our discussion uh, about our final phase. Uh, today, uh, proceed na tayo dun sa hypothesis testing. Na? So at the end of the session, so uh, itong learning outcomes natin, hindi ko lang na-update. Na pero at the end of the session, uh, ang goal natin is to effectively identify kung ano yung uh, hypothesis na pwede sa isang claim. Okay? Then, to introduce to you yung uh, pagkuha ng level of significance ng problem natin. Okay? So, uh, let's start. So, sa hypothesis testing muna tayo. Okay? So, ano daw ba yung hypothesis testing? So, Researchers are interested in answering many types of questions. For example, is the, earth, is the earth warming up? Does a new medication lower blood pressure? Does the public prefer a certain color in a new fashion line? Uh, is a new te uh, teaching technique better than a traditional one? Or do seat belts reduce the severity of injuries? So ilan to sa mga curious uh, questions ng researcher or ng isang tao, kaya nagkakameron tayo ng tinatawag na study or research no kasi uh, may gusto tayong malaman na sagot sa particular question na gagamitan natin ng scientific solution okay sa hypothesis testing or hypothesis uh, writing ang ginagawa natin is uh, kinoconsider natin yung mga iba't ibang claims no so halimbawa as uh, uh, sinabi sa uh, uh, sa claim na ang lahat ng first year student or almost first year student ng uh, engineering department or sabi natin 75% ay male. Okay? So, sa, yun yung claim niya. Sa hypothesis testing, ang gagawin niya, uh, itatanong niya ngayon, totoo ba na 75% ang population ng lalaki sa first year engineering student? Then, dun tayo mag-iisip ng ibang alternative na baka hindi naman 75% lang no or hindi hindi 75% baka mas kokonti kasi mas dumadami na ang kumukuha ng engineering courses na female no so yun yung role ng hypothesis testing okay so sa hypothesis testing um, these types of questions are addressed through uh yun nga yung Hypothesis testing natin. So, yung mga questions, yung, um, yung mga tanong ng researcher, masasagot siya by hypothesis testing, which is defined as a decision-making process for evaluating claims about a population. Okay? So, hypothesis test involves collecting data from a sample and evaluating the data. So, yung data natin, halimbawa, may binigay nga na probability or na number, no? So let's say yung sa example ko nila, mababa 75%. So yun yung data natin. So wala do sa data na yon, kailangan natin i-evaluate ngayon kung yung claim na yon na 75% is majority is male is totoo ba, no? Okay? Then kapag yung magagawa na si researcher ng decision, kailangan niyang decide whether or not may sufficient evidence, no? through um, computation uh, in later topics natin, ma-identify natin kung uh, justifiable ba or uh, totoo ba yung hypothesis na nakuha natin doon sa claim natin. Okay? So, based upon analysis, uh, we will be rejecting or not rejecting yung mga hypothesis na gagawin natin. Okay? So, in hypothesis testing, there are two... Um, types of hypothesis na tinatawag, okay? May tinatawag tayong null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, okay? So, sabi, para masagot natin yung mga question ng researcher, um, it all begins by considering two hypotheses. So, ano ba, may nakita tayong claim nga. Yun na nga, yung example natin kanina, yung sa, sa population ng first year to engineering student na 75% is male. So, para matest natin kung tunay yung claim na yun, mayroon tayong dalawang hypothesis na gagawin. So, 
yung isa, tinatawag natin na hypothesis and yung sa alternative hypothesis. Itong dalawang hypothesis ito is opposing yung viewpoints nila. So meaning nagko-contradict yung null hypothesis sa alternative hypothesis. Pero ano, ano ba pag sinabing null hypothesis? So si null hypothesis or more commonly uh, designated as H sub O is a statement of no difference between the variables. So ano ibig sabihin nun? So mas madali yung nasa second paragraph. It is a statistical hypothesis that states that there's no difference between a parameter and a specific value. Or there is no difference between two parameters. So uh, later, meron tayong table na guide to identify kung paano natin i-formulate yung null hypothesis natin for the given claim. No? So ang sinasabi lang kay null hypothesis, uh, kung ano yung nakastate sa problem, uh, ina-assume ina niya na yun na yung mangyayari. Okay? So, alimbawa, sinabi niyang 75% yung male dun sa population ng first year engineering student. Kaya pag ginawa natin si null hypothesis, yung educated guess natin, di ba? Ang sabi natin sa hypothesis. Uh, ang sasabihin niya, uh, majority of the population of the first year engineering student is equal to 75%. So, inassume na niya na tama agad yung claim. Okay? Dahil doon sa pagkakasabi doon sa claim. So, hindi niya uh, kinokontradict yung claim. Uh, Kung baga, yung sa null hypothesis, uh, sinasabi lang niya or yun nga, walang difference yung sinasabi niya doon sa claim na pinanggalingan natin. Okay? Then, Punta tayo dun sa alternative hypothesis. So, sabi natin kanina na laging opposing claims, uh, opposing yung views lagi ni Nala at saka ni alternative. So, si alternative hypothesis, kabalik taran siya ni Nala hypothesis. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag sinabi ni Nala hypothesis na equal siya sa 75%, si alternative hypothesis pwede niyang sabihin na not equal 75% or less than 75% or greater than 75%. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin alternative hypothesis. Kaya sinasabi niya dito, uh, this hypothesis states the existence of a difference between a parameter and a specific value. Okay? So, sinasabi niya ngayon na hindi lang lagi equal sa 75% yung population ng uh, male students sa first engineering students. No? Sinasabi niya na it can be less than, greater than, or not equal to 75%. Okay? So, yun yung sa alternative hypothesis natin na designated natin by H sub A or in other textbook or other context, H sub 1, yung uh, representation niya. Okay? Next, then after natin um, ma-formulate yung hypothesis natin or ma-test yung hypothesis natin, kailangan tayong gumawa ng decision, no? So since the null and alternative hypothesis are contradictory, uh, we must examine evidence to decide if we have enough evidence para i-reject yung uh, null hypothesis natin or hindi. Or evidence na in the form of sample data. No? So after you have determined yung hypothesis uh, na sinusupport ng sample data natin, yun nga, we will be making a decision. Then, in this decision, we have two options. Uh, later, we have a table to guide us kung paano kung sa decision making na to. So, they are reject null hypothesis. We reject natin siya if the sample information favors the alternative hypothesis. So, upon testing na verify natin na hindi laging equal sa 75% yung male population. So, sabihin na reject natin yung null hypothesis. Or, hindi natin na reject yung null hypothesis or we decline to, to reject yung null hypothesis. Na ibig lang na sabihin, wala tayong sapat na information to support yung claim natin or to um, to prove na hindi totoo yung sinasabi ni null hypothesis. Okay? So later, ma mas maitindihan nyo ito ng mas, mas, mas in-depth kasi meron tayong table na pagbabasehan kung paano gamitin itong sa decision making natin. Okay. So in uh, hypothesis testing ang pinakamahalaga is matutunan natin kung 
paano gumawa ng hypothesis, no? Kasi yun yung uh, medyo nahihirapan ng student. So, paano nyo gagawin yung hypothesis? Kung oh, given yung may given statement, paano gagamit, gagawin yung hypothesis? Kasi uh, nakabase siya, ito, meron tayong guide na pwede natin magbasehan para malaman natin kung ano yung magiging null hypothesis natin at alternative hypothesis natin. So, for null hypothesis daw, yung sa left side natin, ito yung mga ilan sa wordings na pwede natin uh, i-watch out for. No? So, kapag meron tayong nakalagay na equal, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, so do sa problem, ibig sabihin yun na agad yung null hypothesis natin. Okay? Ay, okay. Then, for alternative hypothesis, uh, hindi siya usually laging nakapresent, no? So, kung halimbawa nakapresent yung mga word ni null hypothesis, automatic alam natin na kabaliktaran lang nung wording ni null hypothesis si alternative hypothesis, no? Kaya pag sinabi natin, pag nakita natin equal na word dun sa ano natin, makikita natin na not equal dapat, no? Or greater than or less than yung sa alternative natin. So, greater than or equal, so kabaliktaran niya is less than. Less than or equal, ang kabaliktaran niya is more than. Okay? So, ang sabi dito, si null hypothesis always has a symbol with an equal in it. Okay? So, kay alternative hypothesis naman, wala la, never siya magkakamero ng equal sign. Okay? So, the choice of symbol depends on the wording of the hypothesis test. Okay? Then, um, Ito yung mga additional keywords sa pwede natin pagbasehan pa, no? So, pwede natin siyang sabihin equal yung um, symbol natin kapag sinabi sa problem na equal to, the same as, and not change from, or yung word na is, no? Uh, pag nakita natin yun, alam natin na null hypothesis agad siya. Okay? Then for alternative hypothesis, so... Not equal siya kapag yung wording is not equal, different from, change from, or not the same as. Greater than siya, yung symbol natin, if greater than, above, higher than, longer than, bigger than, increase, or at least. Okay? Then, uh, okay, mali yung symbol, no? So, ito is dapat less than. Okay? So, less than, below, lower than, smaller than, shorter than, decrease, or reduce from, or at most. Yan yung mga keywords natin para ma-identify natin na um, kasama sa uh, alternative hypothesis na less than siya. Okay. Okay, so let's try. Uh, okay. For a while lang. Okay, so halimbawa to, ito yung claim natin, no? ito yung statement na halimbawa makikita natin. Nakalagay, a medical trial is conducted to test whether or not a new medicine reduces uric acid by 50%. So, ano yung uh, null hypothesis natin dyan? So, pwedeng null hypothesis natin dyan. Since meron siyang word na is, no? yung null hypothesis natin, kung sa wording, pwede natin sabihin na the new medicine uh, uh, reduces uric acid by 50%. Okay? So, in symbol, ibig natin sabihin dito, si... Okay? So, yung... Usually, yung ginagamit sa claim is yung, yung mu natin. Ano yung average? Yung mean natin. So, in symbol, pwede natin sabihin na yung mean natin is equal to 50%. Okay? Kasi yung word na is, again, is for equal to. Okay? So kung sa uh, alternative tayo, alternative hypothesis, kung ito yung uh, the new medicine uh, 
uh, baguhin natin to. Lagyan natin ng can. Okay? So, pag pag alternative tayo, so i po contradict niya yung null hypothesis natin. So, ang contradiction niya, the new medicine cannot, no? Reduce uric acid by 50%. Okay? So, yung average natin, yung mean natin for the problem is not equal sa 50%. Okay? So, meaning, uh, inuno lang natin, kinontradict lang natin yung sa null hypothesis natin. Okay? Okay, so siguro by next example, medyo mas malilinawan. Okay, so alimbawa to, we want to test whether the general average of students in math is different from, no? Is different from 80%. So hanap tayo, is different from, is different from, no? Different from. Naka-alternative siya, no? So ibig sabihin pag pinapahanap yung... Um, alternative hypothesis natin, automatic, ang mu natin is, is not equal to 80%. Okay? And then, yung HO natin, yung null hypothesis natin, is kabalik tara lang ng HA natin. So, ang average natin is equal to 80%. Okay? So, ano yung wording nito? Sinasabi nito na, the general average Okay, of students in math is equal to 80%. Okay, so ito yung para sa null hypothesis. Use alternative, so the general average okay, of students in math is yung wording natin different from different from 80%. No? Which is yung symbol na, na different from i equals sa not equal. Okay? Question? And so far po. Okay? Next. Number three, so we want to test if college students takes less than five years to graduate from college on the average. Okay, so yan yung claim natin. So, ano ngayon yung, yung keyword natin para dito? Less than. Less than. Okay, less than five years. So, Saan si less than? Si less than is papasok sa? Alternative. Alternative, no? So, si alternative si less than. Ah, wait lang, ha? Okay. So, automatic. Less than. So, balikan natin yung kanina. So, less than. Andito siya sa alternative hypothesis, no? So, alam natin na yung alternative hypothesis natin is yung average daw. So, ibig sabihin yung mean natin is less than 5 years, no? Okay? Less than 5 years. So, yung null hypothesis natin is... Ano yung null hypothesis natin dito? Greater than. Greater than. Okay, so kulang, no? So, dapat ang mahal hypothesis natin is greater than or equal to. No? Ito yan. Kabalik tara ng less than. Okay? So, dapat si mu natin dito is greater than or equal to 5. 
Okay. Next. Okay. So, in an issue of U.S. News and World Report, an article on student standards stated that about half of all students in France, Germany, and Israel take advanced placement exams and a third pass. So, the same article stated that 6.6%, blah, blah, blah. That's if the percentage of U.S. who take the advantage is more than 6.6%. No? So, yun lang yung keyword na inahanap natin. State the null and hypothesis in alternative hypothesis. So, more than is ano yun? Ano yung more than? Alternative. Alternative si more than, no? So, um, yung percentage daw, so, tawagin na lang natin P. So, more than 6.6% is 0. 0.066. No? So, ang mangyayari, ang magiging null hypothesis natin ay less than equal Okay? Like less than equal to 0. 0.066. Okay? So, hindi lang dapat less than. Lagi dapat ay may equal, no? Kasi, sabi natin, pag null hypothesis is meron siya laging equal in it. Okay? Meron pa ba? Okay. Wala na. Okay. So, ganun yung mga examples sa pag, uh, pag solve o pag uh, indicate ng null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis ng given claim. No? Mahalaga to kasi uh, later or next meeting natin, meron tayong tatlong methods in solving yung hypothesis natin. So, ngayon hanggang doon lang tayo sa errors muna or yung sa level of significance. Okay. So, now we go dun sa outcome natin tsaka yung tatawag nating type 1 and type 2 errors, no? So, in reality, yung null hypothesis natin may or may not be true and a decision like uh, we said earlier is made to reject or not to reject yung null hypothesis natin on the basis of the data obtained from a given example. No? So, meron tayong two types of error. Meron tayong type 1 error and type 2 error. So, si type 1 error, sinasabi lang niya na nag-occur siya if one rejects yung null hypothesis pero uh, totoo naman pala yung null hypothesis natin. Then, yung type 2 error natin is Hindi ni reject yung null hypothesis pero mali naman pala siya. Okay? So this is more com uh, conveniently uh, more commonly uh, more conveniently visualized dito sa uh, figure na to, no? So we have yung uh, reject and do not reject sa left side or sa row natin. Then sa column natin or sa apps sa, sa Sa upper side, we have yung null is true, the null is false. No? Again, si type 1 error is sa intersection na si null hypothesis is true pero nireject natin si null hypothesis. Yun yung error 1 natin. Then si error 2 natin, ayaw natin i-reject si null hypothesis pero kahit na si null hypothesis ay false. Okay? Then meron tayong other two intersection. Okay? So, ito yung sasabi ko intersection, no? So, ito yung unang intersection. And ito yung kasunod na intersection. Okay? So, itong intersection na to, wherein, nireject natin yung null hypothesis. And dahil mali yung null hypothesis, siya ay papasok sa correct decision, no? Kasi since mali yung null hypothesis natin, natural dapat i-reject natin siya. Okay? Then, same as dito, uh, to, uh, true yung null hypothesis natin so dapat hindi natin siya i-reject no? so may tawag dun sa dito no? sa intersection natin na to ang tawag sa kanya ito sa number 2 natin so the, the, the decision is to reject yung null hypothesis natin when null hypothesis is false so ang ano niya is correct decision siya Wherein, yung probability niya is called the power of the test. 
Okay? So, later, i-discuss natin yung power of the test na yan. So, yan yung four possible outcomes kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung um, possible decisions for our hypothesis. No? So, in our hypothesis testing, ito yung magiging guide natin whether or not to proceed dun sa uh, given hypothesis natin or dun sa selected hypothesis natin. Okay? Then, level of significance. So, ano daw yan? So, uh, it is the maximum probability of committing a type 1 and type 2 error. No? So, may probability pala si type 1 and type 2. So, each of the errors occur with a particular probability represented by the letters alpha and beta for their probability. So, alpha is kapag kinukuha natin yung probability ng type 1 error or P, type 1 error. Meaning, kinukuha natin probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. Okay? So, yun yung uh, type 1 error natin. And uh, beta, uh, for probability of type 2 error or P, type 2 error, ibig sabihin niya, kinukuha natin yung probability of not rejecting the null hypothesis when the null, when the null hypothesis is actually false. Okay? And then, ito yung typical values ng significance level. 0 0.10, 0 0.05, and 0 0.01. So, sabi pag nakakita kayo ng value halimbawa ng alpha na 0.1, ibig sabihin niya may 10% chance of rejecting a true null hypothesis. Kasi ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng alpha? Si alpha is probability ng type 1 error. And si type 1 error is, nakalagay, rejecting yung null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. Okay, so 10% chance na i-reject natin yung true null hypothesis. Okay, so focus tayo ngayon sa pag-identify or pag paghanap ng critical value para dyan sa mga uh, probability niya. Okay, so ito yung tatawag natin critical value. So CV or CB. Ito daw yung nagsiseparates ng critical region from the non-critical region. So yung region na binabanggit natin dito is uh, yung normal distribution curve natin. Okay? The critical or rejection region is the range of values of the test value that indicates that there is a significant difference and that the null hypothesis would be rejected. Okay? So the non-critical or non-rejection region is the range of values of the test value that indicates that the difference was probably due to chance and that the null hypothesis should not be rejected. Okay, so uh, paano nung natin i-explain to? So ano natin sa example, no? So halimbawa, finding yung critical value ng probability ng type 1 error na 0.01. Okay, so meron tayong 0.01 tapos right, ta right tail test daw yung consider natin. So anong ibig sabihin ng right tail test? So pag right tail test tayo, yung value ng okay, so wait lang. Saan yun? Okay. So, pag sinabi natin yung right tail test, ang bawa yung average natin, yung sa null hypothesis natin, no, is equal sa certain value tapos yung alternative natin is greater than certain value no so right right tail test yang ang category niya kasi kinoconsider natin is greater than dun sa mu natin no so uh, remember na ang gitna ng normal distribution natin is yung uh, mean natin and yung consideration natin yung probability ng kinukuha natin yung magiging critical region natin is nasa right side. Okay? Kaya right right tail test tayo. Okay? So, dito pinapahanap yung critical value na mangyari yung type 1 error. Ang type 1 error again is rejecting yung null hypothesis natin even the null hypothesis is true. No? Okay? So, paano natin makukuha yan? So, mula dito, alam natin na 0.01 is probability siya. 
So, ibig sabihin, area siya under the curve. Okay? So, ito yan. Chinated part natin yan dun sa normal distribution natin. Then, para mahanap natin yung equivalent critical value niya, yung z-score niya, so, kukunin natin yung area mula dun sa left end natin papunta dito na na-identify natin as 0.99. Okay? Then, going dun sa z-table natin, hanapin natin yung closest value sa so 0.99. No? So ito, 0.9901. Then kunin natin yung value which is 2.33. No? Kaya for a right tail test, we're in a type 1 error natin is equals to 0 0.01 or yung probability of type 1 error is 0 0.01. Ang critical value natin is 2.33. Okay? So... Uh, magagamit natin to kapag halimbawa may mga uh, given na tayo na data then di ba kapag may given tayong data meron siyang given na mean meron siyang given na standard deviation tapos ipaplot natin yung normal distribution niya tapos i-standardize natin tukunin natin yung z-score then ko-compare natin dun sa value na z-score natin okay once na nag-fall under siya ng 2.33 or less than or equal sa 0.33, ibig sabihin non-critical siya. So kapag lumampas siya ng 2.33, yung value ng z-score natin, magiging siya critical region siya. Okay? So yun yung ibig sabihin dito. Critical region siya kapag uh, pumasok siya dun sa uh, probability natin na yan. Okay? Okay, so... Next is yung finding yung critical value natin for the same type 1 error pero left tail test naman tayo. So kung left tail test tayo, ang uh, mean natin or yung average natin, mean natin is equals pa din to a certain number. Tapos ang kinoconsider natin is less than a certain number. Okay? So... Kailangan natin yung 0.01 na probability. So, ang location yun under the curve is nandito sa, sa region na to. Okay? Dito sa region na to. Sa left side natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin, mula doon sa z-table natin, hanapin natin yung value na pinakamalapit sa 0.01. Okay? So, verify nga natin. Saka nakalimot na agad gumamit ng z-table. Uh, okay. okay, so ito na. So, point zero 0.01 yung kailangan natin. So, ang closest sa point zero 0.01. Uh, ah, wait. Wrong table to. Wait lang. Okay, so kailangan natin uh, point 0.1. So nasa left side tayo. So dapat negative yung titina natin. So point 0.1 dito, point 0.1, point 0.01. Okay. Closest ay 0, 0.1. Ito, 0, 0, 0.0990. 0. So siya ay negative 2.303. So, 2.33. Okay? So, ito yung value niya. Kaya nakalagay dun sa slide natin. Okay, share ko lang ulit. Okay? Ayan. Kaya nakalagay dito, negative 2.33. Okay? So, meaning, kung halimbawa may given tayong situation ulit, data, given mean and may given tayong standard deviation, gagawin natin yung dis, uh, normal distribution curve natin, then i-standardize natin, meaning kukunin natin yung z-score. Then kapag nakuha natin yung z-score and yung number niya is naglalay within less than or equal to 2.33, 
ibig sabihin critical yung uh, value natin. Kapag hindi naman non-critical tayo. Okay? So, paano naman daw kapag two-tailed test? So, magiging two-tailed test siya kapag yung null hypothesis natin is equal to a certain number. Tapos yung, uh, yung alternative test natin, a uh, hypothesis natin is not equal to a certain number. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, identify lang natin yung uh, both critical regions dun sa left and right natin. Okay? So, kailangan natin ng 0.005 okay? and 0.995. So, i-verify natin. 0.005. So, mula dito, 0.005 ay summer 005 Okay, 005 508494 So mas malapit ata sa 0 so, 0 0.00494 is closer sa 0 0.005. So, ang value natin is negative 2.58. Okay? Then, yung isa is 0 0.995. Tingnan natin dito. 0 0.995 is closer sa to, 0 0.99506, which is equivalent to 2.58. Okay? Kaya, pag-check natin yung slide again. Yung value natin for critical value is equals to positive, negative, 2.58. Okay? Kasi both side tayo. Left and right end tayo. So when both values is critical, then yung nasa gitna natin is not critical. Okay? So, paano daw yung pag-calculate uh, ng critical value? No? So, table E. So, ito ay Z table, no? So, una daw, draw natin yung figure and indicate natin appropriate area. So, if the test is left tail, the critical region, okay, with an area equal to alpha, will be on the left side of the mean. If test is right tail, critical region, alpha is on the right side of the mean. And if test is two tailed, Alpha will must be divided by 2. Then one half of the area will be to the right and one half will be to the left. Okay? Then critical values for specific, for specific A values. Okay? So, yeah, same lang din yan. Okay? So, pagkuha na sa Z table. Okay, example number 1. Find the critical values for each situation and draw the appropriate figure. Show the, criti the critical region. Okay? Ah, sorry. Okay. So, letter A muna tayo. So, left tail yung problem natin. No? So, saan ang shade natin pag left tail? Sabi dito, for left tail, critical region will be on the left side of the mean. Okay? So, sumba yun sa kanina natin. Okay? So, ganito yung itsura niya. Okay? So, sana yan? Yan. So, ito yung... Uh, critical area na tinutukoy natin. Okay? Which is equal sa 0.1. Okay. Ngayon, hanapin natin yung equivalent value niyan. So, hanap tayo doon sa Z, sa Z table natin na 0.1. Ano yung pinakamalapit sa 0.1? So, mula dito, 
Tapos left side tayo, so ibig sabihin negative tayo. Tanapin natin yung point 1 na value. Point 1 is... So, alin na mas malapit? Uh, ito ba or ito? So, pag paghanap po alin na pinakamalapit, i-minus nyo lang no? doon sa inahanap nyo. Tapos yung mas malaki yung, yung mas maliit yung difference, yun yung inahanap natin. Okay? Okay, so kung 0.10027 yung consider natin value ng ano is mas maliit to. So ibig sabihin ang value natin is negative 1. point uh, so 0.96 check, check natin. 0.1 minus 0.09680 uh, 3. Uh, mas maliit pa din si 0 0.10027, no? So negative 1.28. Okay? So ibig sabihin yung critical value natin dito yung z score natin, ah, hindi pala naka-share, sorry. Okay, mula dito, so Z natin will be negative 1 point, ay nalimutan ko yung value, 1 point uh, 28. Okay, so yan yung para sa uh, type of error na point 1. Negative point 128 tayo. Okay, sa so number letter B. Two tail test na 0 0.02 yung uh, value natin. Okay, pero two tail tayo. Okay? Kapag two tail daw yung alpha natin, di-divide natin by 2. So 0 0.02 divide 2. So 0 0.01. So, yung graph natin will be pag two-tail tayo. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung dalawang critical region natin. Okay? Yung area nyan will be itong isa, probability natin na 0.01. Then, itong mula dito, anong probability yan? So, 0.01 yung remaining. So, 1 minus 0.01 tayo. So, 0.99. Okay? So, hanapin lang natin yung z-score na 0.01 tsaka 0.99. Okay? So, 0.01 nasa left side tayo. 0.01 um, 0, 1 is negative 2.33. Negative 2.33. So, more or less, same lang yun ang value dun sa kabila natin. No? So, yung 0.99 natin. Ah, ito na pala yung ginawa natin kanina. No? So, 0.99 natin. Point nine nine, point nine nine. Yeah, point oh, no. Point nine nine zero one zero is positive two point thirty three. Okay. So yun yung para sa left tail natin. Okay. Then sa letter C natin, right tail test tayo with alpha 0.005. So, 
Ito yung mu natin, right tail test tayo. So, ito yung critical region natin. Again, value niya is 0 0.005. So, yung hanapin natin yung probability ay 1 minus 0 0.005. So, kailangan natin ng value na 0 0.995. So, ano yung z-score niya? So, kayo na magbigay. Ano yung value natin? So, tingin kayo dun sa uh, positive na table, then hanapin nyo 0.995. Saan siya closest? Sa 2.58. Okay? So, thank you Mr. Abril. 2.58. Okay, so matter siya ng paghanap lang sa table natin, no? Okay, gets dito sa critical values. So parang application lang to ng standard distribution natin, no? Standard normal distribution natin. Okay? Sample number 2, so letter A. Um, left tail tayo na 0 0.01, same ba? Hindi, 0 0.01 naman to. Okay. So, 0 0.01. Okay. So, ano yung value? Pag 0 0.01, alpha natin, ah, z-score natin is equal to negative 2.33. Ulit. In ba ulit? Pag 0.01. Okay. So, negative 2.33. Okay. So, letter B. At 2 till tayo. So, yung alpha natin, di-divide natin sa 2. So, 0 0.01 divide 2 is 0 0.005. Okay. So, ito yung ating curve. So, Itong side na to. So, ito ay alpha is 0 0.005. Then, yung isa is alpha is equal to 1 minus 0 0.005. So, 0 0.995. Ano yung value ng z-score natin? Okay, ano yung value? Uh, wait lang. Zero. Okay, so 2.58 and 2 point, negative 2.58 saka 2.58. Same ba yung problem ko? Hindi naman, no? Ah, okay. So, sa letter C natin, right tail test, a 0.05. Okay, mu natin. Then, ito yung 0 0.05 natin. Okay, z-score natin is pag 0 0.05, so 1 minus 0 0.05, so dapat 0.95 yung hanapin natin sa table natin. So 0.95 is closest to... One point. Saan? Point ninety five. Point nine four nine five. Tapos point nine four nine five zero five. So mas maliit si one point six five. Okay, so 1.65. Okay, 
So, yan yung critical regions natin. So, i-apply natin yan sa discussion natin, yung methods natin na discuss next meeting. Okay? So, if you don't have any more question, or question, meron ba? This ends our lecture for today. How about, how about yung iba? Question? Okay naman? Patams up naman kung okay. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung nandyan kayo eh. Kausap ko lang halos parang aapat eh. Ayan, okay. Thank you. Okay, so this ends our lecture for today. Thank you for attending.